Hi guys, what is up? It's Jacko and HD here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own unique and awesome looking styles, and also how to save them. Now, you can look over here. Oh, first step, open Photoshop. Okay, now you look over here, I've got some styles I've already made. Some of these I downloaded, most of them are made. Like this one I made, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, pretty much the bottom line and this one and this one I made. The rest I downloaded. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own styles and save them for particularly like um, YouTube backgrounds or desktop backgrounds and stuff like that. Okay, so open it up. Doesn't matter what size you make the thing. I just made my 1280 by 720. Get the layer from the background. And usually, you don't have to, I, it just makes it easier, I think. I put like a grey colour, like this, just on the background. And make a new layer, select your pen tool, oh god, there, there it is. And hold down Alt and Shift, Shift making it go straight, and Alt making it go from this, so it goes both ways, to just one way, like this. Okay, so let me just Control Z that. So Shift, Alt. And now draw the design that you'll roughly want on like a YouTube background or a desktop background. So I'm going to do a YouTube background this time. So I'm just going to draw a rough shape. And then do it like this. Yeah, like that. That'll do. And then make sure you've got your other layer selected. Fill path. Just make it a white. Um, then delete path. And just I'll move it into the center. Actually, I might make it a bit bigger. Just for video's sake. Probably might lose some of its graphics quality, but otherwise. Now I'll show you some of my other ones. They're not I'm not saying they're not they're the best, but like that's a really good text one that I made myself. It's like a carbon fiber. Doesn't look very good there, but it looks really good on text. That's another version of it. And I've got this one, which is like uh, I don't it's it's good. It can you can change it in that. Same with this one. This one I downloaded. Actually, no, this one I made. This one I made. Uh, this one I downloaded. But I also made this one, which I kind of like. It looks good when it's really small and it takes up just a little bit of the square. And this one I made. Now, they're all right. Um, like they're not the best, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'll show you how to make your, you know, style. So usually what I do, yeah, uh, you can make it, you can pretty much do anything you want to it. So if you want to change the color of it, you know, make it red, you know, there, make it red. And then go to layer options, blending options, and just put what you want on it. So I'm going to put a drop shadow. Now this isn't going to be, like, perfect, like, because it's, you're meant to use your own creativity and stuff. Okay, and, um, so just make what you like. I'm just going to quickly, yeah, just, it's not important, but just put a bit of a drop shadow on it. Okay. And uh, put a bevel onto our. Uh, yeah, it, it's not going to be perfect. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Now, I usually put a satin. Sometimes you got to swap it around a bit. Changes. Right, you can make it look really weird. I might take it off this time. Yeah, I'm not going to put a satin on. Um, but you can also use cover, color overlay. Change the color. You know, black, whatever. It doesn't matter. And, yep, yeah, like that. That's similar to my other one. I'll keep that off. But what I pretty much always use is a gradient overlay. What I usually do is select the two colors you want. So I want a red sort of tip, like that, with another one here that's black. So it sort of goes like that. And then click OK, and then just reverse it so it's down on the tip. And just use the scale to line it up to how you, how you sort of like it. So that's sort of got a red tip. Like, you'd obviously make it look better until you're fitting, but for now, that should do. I also sometimes, not put a stroke, maybe. Gradient, I I use a lot. Like, this is my own pattern that I made. You put that in text, and it makes it look like carbon fiber. It looks really nice. Um, yeah, so pretty much, you make what you want. You got, you know, shadows and all this crap. And then pretty much you make it. Actually, why would I have to click cancel? I'll just go through and tick some of these. Sorry about that. 
don't know why I click cancel. Um, yeah, so you just make it how you like it. It's not that important. Obviously, it will be for you, but for this video sake, I'm just going to quickly do that. Okay, then just click OK. So if that's exactly how you want it, like this, like uh, you would probably wouldn't want to make it like this, but you make it so it's done. You can also put brushes and stuff on. Um, probably not that big. I'll just put one quickly on. Actually, no, I'm not going. I'm not even going to bother. It goes in the background anyway. Um, yeah. So now to save it, right click on the layer like this. Go to blending options. Oh, this is the way I do it anyway. Like you don't have to do it like this. There's lots of other ways, but this is how I do it. Click on styles up the top here, and it will show you all your styles. Just click new style, and call it something. I'm just going to call it tut. Make sure you tick bl blending options if you adjusted the blending options here, or and layer effects. Just I tick them both all the time, and just click OK, and then here it is here. Right here, if I just click this one, then click this one, changes back. Now, just to prove to you that it does work, I don't know why you'd need proving, but anyway, I'll just draw a random shape, fill path, white, and then it'll just be up here in styles. You can add it to your thing with window here if you don't already have it. Let's get it ticked, and then bam, there it is. Doesn't look very good, but anyway. That's how you make a style. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you have any requests for tutorials or videos or anything, just send me a message or leave a comment or anything. doesn't matter. Okay, guys, so I will talk to you next video. Bye.